Hello everyone, welcome back to yet another learning video. Do you know that what are the various calibration parameters of a balance? What is the acceptance criteria for each parameter? Which guideline we should refer to learn about the balance calibration? So all these questions will be answered in next few minutes. So let's get started without any further delay. A typical balance is calibrated with the help of five calibration parameters. Those are number one, repeatability, number two, accuracy, number three, sensitivity, number four, linearity, and number five is eccentricity. So these are the five main calibration parameters of a balance which are used globally by all the pharma companies. Now comes the acceptance criteria for each parameter. First comes the repeatability. The acceptance criteria for the repeatability is not more than 0.10%. Then comes the accuracy. The acceptance criteria for the accuracy is plus or minus 0.10%. Then comes the sensitivity. The acceptance criteria for the sensitivity test is not more than 0.05%. Then comes your linearity and the acceptance criteria for the linearity is not more than 0.05%. And finally comes your eccentricity and the acceptance criteria for the eccentricity is not more than 0.05%. So here you can see that for these two parameters, reproducibility and accuracy, these two parameters have the same acceptance criteria that is not more than 0.10%. And for these three parameters, sensitivity, linearity and eccentricity, for these three parameters, acceptance criteria is not more than 0.05%. So this was all about your acceptance criteria for all the calibration parameters of a balance. Now comes the last learning of today's video that is which guideline we should refer to know about the balance calibration. So answer to this question is guys US Pharmacopoeia Journal Chapter Number 41 and 1251. Along with that one more guideline you can refer to know about the balance calibration that is European Pharmacopoeia Journal Chapter Number 2.1.7. If you will read USP journal chapter number 41 and 1251, then you will come to know that few of the calibration parameters are covered in journal chapter number 41, whereas few calibration parameters are covered in journal chapter number 1251. So let us see what are the calibration parameters are given in USP journal chapter number 41. So guys, repeatability and accuracy test parameters are given in journal chapter number 41. Whereas in journal chapter number 1251, four calibration parameters are given and those are sensitivity, linearity, eccentricity and repeatability. If you will see these two journal chapters, then you will come to know that uh, repeatability test is covered in both the journal chapters. So guys, this was all about today's video. So let us quickly rewind today's learnings. So today we have learned three things about the balance calibration. The first thing which we have learned today is that there are five calibration parameters of balance. Number one, repeatability. Number two, accuracy. Number three, sensitivity. Number four, linearity. And number five is eccentricity. The second thing which we have learned today is that uh, about acceptance criteria for all the calibration parameters. And we came to know that for repeatability and accuracy tests are having same acceptance criteria that is not more than 0.10%. Whereas linearity, eccentricity and sensitivity tests are having same acceptance criteria that is not more than 0.05%. And third thing which we have learned today is that uh, there are two journal chapters are given in the US Pharmacopoeia which talks about the balance calibration. Those are USP 41 and USP 1251. Along with that, we also came to know that uh, in European Pharmacopoeia, journal chapter number 2.1.7 talks about balance calibration. So guys, this was all about today's video. Hope you have learned something new today. Before winding up, let me tell you one thing that we will be decoding all these USP journal chapters in upcoming videos. Till then, stay tuned to PharmaPale. Bye-bye and happy learning.